the Upstate Spartans pick up a second conference win this season and their 14th victory overall in a 91-67 win over the Stetson Hatters. Look back at this game, Phil. Nine lead changes in the first half. Stetson was in control early, but Upstate went on a late first half run and then really turned the intensity up in the second half to seal away the win. Well, you take a look at the stat sheet at the end of this one. Spartans with the win in almost every single statistical category, whether it be rebounding, offensive rebounding. Spartans had great balance up and down the stat sheet as far as scoring was concerned. Uh, took a little bit uh, to get going for Upstate there in the start of the first half, but Boy, they ran smooth. It was a well-oiled machine for about 30 of the 40 minutes for the Spartans. Let's take a look back at the highlights from this basketball game, and you will see the defense really did turn up for Upstate in that second half. The defense turned into offensive opportunities, and when it counted, the Spartans were able to put four different players in double figures yeah, today. And 91 points on the board in total. Upstate started with the defense, and really was that play right there by Michael Buchanan on the defensive end. Uh, we talked about the balance inside and outside scoring the basketball. Spartans knocked down 11 threes in this contest. Well, check that, 15 threes and also getting 28 points in the paint. That's pretty good balance. We saw Thomas with his two big three-point baskets from the first half there. And of course, Ty Green in timely moments able to knock down several. When you talk about individual performances in this game, really three different players you can talk about here. A double-double for Michael Buchanan who made his presence known in this game. Shunquez Stevens ends up in double figures and Ty Green matches his career high. It is a career high for Stevens. It is a tie of the career high for Green and there are Spartans of the game. Able to knock down six of his seven jumpers from the up, from beyond the arc and did Green, but you got to know he wanted to get that last foul shot to go down to get 30 and get his career high. But Stevens with his career high eclipsing what he did at Georgia Tech, 15 for him. So, again, good balance and uh, great to see Upstate with kind of an offensive explosion. Their defense gets so much attention for how good they are on that side of the ball, but able to put a lot of points up this afternoon. You look at the numbers for the team as a whole as we take a look back at our game summary. Upstate shoots better than 50% from the field in this game. You look, you look at that line for Upstate, Jason, nothing you don't like. Maybe the 14 turnovers like to get that down a little bit if you're going to be greedy about things, but better than 50%, almost 90% from the foul line, 15 threes, you out-rebound them. Boy, it's tough to not like uh, Upstate's performance today. Spartans even the all-time series with Stetson at seven games apiece, and here's the impact that it has on the Atlantic Sun Conference standings. Stetson still looking for their first win of the year, but a little traction for the Spartans as they get ready to head on a difficult road trip. Absolutely, that's a great verb to describe it, or a great term to describe it. Spartans now have their, now have their feet under them a little bit in a difficult stretch as they'll go on the road to Jacksonville to play the Ospreys and the Dolphins Stetson, as you see at the bottom 0-5. You can grab the thoughts of head coach Eddie Payne with Center Court, which will be released at 6 p.m. this Wednesday night, as it is every Wednesday night. Center Court, Upstate Basketball Insider, gives you a little deeper look and the thoughts of the coaches and players after each very important game like the one we witnessed here today. Our next broadcast coming up will be next week. We'll have two women's games on Thursday and Saturday. That trip the Spartans are making through the city of Jacksonville, the River City, against the Dolphins and then the Ospreys. Same two teams will come here. We'll have them for you with ESPN3 broadcast. We thank you for spending part of your Saturday afternoon with us. 91 points for the Upstate Spartans, and they come up with another 20-plus point win over the Stetson Hatters on a Saturday in late January in the Hodge Center.